Good morning, our brothers and sisters. You are welcome to today's morning devotion. The gloriously bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let us first of all sing some hymn to praise our God this morning. We're going to sing in 59. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. One to go. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Hail salvation, fortress of God, of the Spirit, washing his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. All that belongs. This is my story. This is my song. Praise me, my Savior. All that belongs. Perfect summation. Perfect delight, visions of rapture, boast of my sight, angel descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior, all that belongs. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. Oh, that belongs. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior, I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. He with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior, all that day long. This is my story. This is my song, praise me, my Savior, all that day long. Jesus. Let us sing in 307. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving. One to go. And we enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. And we enter his court with praise. And we say, this is the day that the Lord has me. And we rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad, I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. 
Hallelujah, he has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter. We enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. And we enter his court with praise. And we say, This is thy day that the Lord has made. And we rejoice, for he has made me glad. He has made us glad. He has made us glad. We are so glad. We will rejoice for he has made me glad. Ah, hallelujah. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Let us also sing 506. Oh Lord, my God, when I in absent wonder want to go. Oh Lord, my God, when I in absent wonder consider all thy words thy hands has made, I see thy stars. I hear the mighty thunder, the power throughout the universe displayed. Then see my soul, my Savior God to be. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then see my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When through the wood and forest glad I wander, I hear the bear sing swiftly in thy tree. When I look down from lofty, mighty ground, I hear the bed bruise, I feel the gentle breeze. Then sing my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then say, my soul, my Savior, God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God, his son, no sparing, send him to die, I still can take it in. That on thy cross, my body gladly bearing, if I die to take away my sins. Then sing my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sing my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come, we shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. And I shall bow. Humble adoration and dear proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sing, my soul, my Savior, God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sing, my soul, 
my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, we bless you, Father, we worship you, Lord, we give you thanks, we give you adoration. We thank you for it is by your power, it is by your might, it is by your, your, your encouragement, O oh Lord, your guidance that we are able to see this day, O oh Lord. We just worship you, Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you for all that you have done for us and what you're ready to do. Father, Lord, we thank you for where we are now. We thank you for where we are coming from. We thank you also for where you are taking us to. Father, we bless your holy Lord over our life, over our children, over every soul under the sound of my voice, Lord. My Lord, my God, we just worship you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We bless you for all the families that are going to see today, O oh Lord. We just thank you for their life. We thank you, Father, Holy Spirit, even for this nation that we are right now. We thank you for the nation of Israel. We also thank you for the whole world, O oh Lord. Father, we bless you, Holy Lord, for those that are mourning right now. We thank you, Father, Lord Jesus, for those that are also rejoicing. Because you said, O oh Lord, in your word and said, in everything we should give thanks and glory unto you. O many present and many potent God, you are the God of all flesh. You are the God that makes things to be possible. You are the God that knows our end from the beginning. Lord Jesus, we worship you. Holy Spirit, we bless your holy Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for you are the God that never fails, O oh Lord. When you say yes, it's always yes. And when you say no, nobody can say, nobody can say yes. Father, we bless you, Holy Spirit. As we are in your presence right now, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, take preeminent, O oh Lord, take us through control of everything that we are going to do this morning, Lord, in the might of Jesus. Father, as we also bind every forces of darkness, O oh Lord, every plan of the enemy against us this morning, we take authority over them and we bind them in the might of Jesus. Whatever the enemy have arranged in the night, O oh Lord, Father, we cancel it right now in the might of Jesus. Every plan be, Father Lord Jesus, if uh, against us in this very month of November, Father, we scatter all those plans right now in the might of Jesus. Lead us all through this new month, O oh Lord, in the might of Jesus. Guide us all through, O oh Lord. Teach us all those things that you want us to know concerning your kingdom this month, O oh Lord, Father, in the might of Jesus. From today, O oh Lord, glorify your whole name in our life in the might of Jesus. Walk with us, O oh Lord, and walk through us in our in the, in the might of Jesus. We are your instrument of revival. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, use us from this temple, O oh Lord, to reach every soul that needs to be rich, O oh Lord, in the might of Jesus. Use us, Father, Holy Spirit, to touch those brokenhearted in the might of Jesus. Father, use us, O oh Lord, Father, to heal those that are sick in the might of Jesus. It's not we that are doing the healing. It's you, God Almighty that can heal, O oh Lord, in the might of Jesus, because you are our deliverer. Father, deliver us from every danger in the name of Jesus. Deliver that man, deliver that woman, O oh Lord, under the sound of my voice now from every premature death in the might of Jesus. Deliver our children. Save us all through, O oh Lord, in the might of Jesus, because you have said you will not allow the enemy to destroy us prematurely in the might of Jesus. We just thank you this morning, O oh Lord, as I soak every soul in the blood of Jesus up to 20,000 kilometers, wherever they are hearing my voice right now. Lord Jesus Christ, on us, through the radio, through the Zoom, through the, the YouTube, Father Lord Jesus, through Facebook, my Lord, my God, Father, let your divine protection never depart from us all in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. This land, O oh Lord, will never hurt us in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. We are going to the book of Psalm 5. We're going to use Psalm 5 to... <clears throat> God is going to speak to us this morning through Psalm 5, and God will bless us in Jesus' name. I think it's uh, 1 to 12. So read for us, please. Psalm 1 to 12. Psalm 5, verse 1 to 12. And the topic is uh, prayer for God guidance. Psalm 5. 
Give ear to my word, O oh Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O oh Lord. In the morning I will direct to you and I will look upon you. For you are not a God who take pleasure in the witness, nor shall evil dwell in with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all the workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsely. Lord, abhor the bloodthirsty and deceitful men. But as for me, I will come into your house in the midst of you, your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship the way of holy temple. Lift me, O oh Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your ways, make your ways first before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. The inward part is discretion. The throat is open tongue. Do mm. they flatter with their tongue? Who knows them with your God? Let them fall by their soul, by their own concern. Cast them out in the middle of the transgression. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have the bad against you. But let all those who trust who put their trust in you, let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Mm -hmm. Let those who love your name be joyful in you. Mm -hmm. For you, O oh Lord, we bless the righteous mm -hmm. with favor. You will surround him Amen. as with a ship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 5 is explaining very deep thing to us this morning. Our God is speaking to us and let us open our ear to hear him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, give, give ears to my word. Oh Lord, consider, consider my groaning. Hear the sound of my cry for help, my King and my God. For to thee do I pray. David, we understand David in the Bible. He was surrounded by enemy. Praise God. As you are also surrounded by enemy. Not all your enemies you know. Praise God. And also those that are, you are thinking that they are enemy, they may not be your enemy. Because it's somebody that is trying to kill you, trying to suppress your, 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 your destiny. Whatever you are doing, they do something to cover it up. Those are the enemy that doesn't want your progress. They want to, they want to kill somebody prematurely. They don't want the vision of that man or that woman to come to pass. Hallelujah. Verse, verse 3. He said, In the morning, O Lord, thou wilt hear my voice. In the morning, I will order my prayer to thee and eagerly watch. Praise God. So in the morning as we are now, we are surrendering ourselves to God. We are keeping, I mean, sorry, we are giving everything to him. We want him to speak to us as we are also speaking to him. We prepare ourselves whatever we want to do today, 
we are committing it, it, committing it into the hands of God. And we are asking him to hear our voice this morning. Hallelujah. He said, for thou art not a God who take pleasure in wickedness. No, our God doesn't do wickedness. For those that hear, that follow his commandment, that hear his voice and follow it, he said, don't do, don't commit adultery. Don't fornicate. Don't bear false witnesses. Don't uh, lie against somebody. Don't worship any other God. Say, because he's a jealous God. Hallelujah. He cannot take pleasure in those kind of, uh, you see, for thou art not a God who take pleasure in wickedness. He's not rejoicing over it, over our sins. He's not rejoicing over that man's sin or that woman's sin. No. He doesn't like anything to happen to us. He protects us all through. Even in our sin, he still protects us. When they want, after when they were crucifying Jesus Christ, the last when he was already in the on the, on the cross, he was still praying, Father, forgive them. So he doesn't want bad things to happen to us. Even up to today, Jesus Christ is still praying for us. Amen. He said, thou art not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness. No evil dwell with thee at all. Evil cannot dwell with our God. It's not a wicked God. When we make a mistake, when we sin against God, and we go back to him and say, Father, because he's our Father, and say, Father, this is what I have done again. Have mercy. We, we saw or we are hearing we are, how David himself Surrender himself, how he how he appreciates God, how he adore him, the position he placed God in his life. He said, No, uh, he said, the boastful shall not stand before thy eyes. Thou dost, thou dost hate all who do iniquity. Yes. Who is it, yourself or myself? Even our children, when they commit a sin or when they do things wrongly, they, they, they refuse to do what we ask them to do. What, how are we going to do it? Are we going to be praising them for that? No, we will not praise them. So also our goal will not praise us when we do things wrong. You see, thou shalt not kill and you are killing. After fornication, a, a, a pregnancy came. You go to the doctor and say, oh, let me remove this child. That is also killing. Hallelujah. Committing adultery. Cheating on your husband or cheating on your wife. Hallelujah. Even stealing. Stealing from your your, your, your place of work. God is, God is not happy with all those things. He does not take pleasure in all those things. He said, thou dost destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord accord the man of blush, of bloodshed and deceit. Exactly. You deceive somebody because you want something from that person. You are not in position to have it, but you want to use, you want to scam that very person to make sure that whatever that whatever you want, that thing that you needed, that you are able to take it. You are able to get it from the man or from the woman or even from the group, group of people. 
There are some people that organize themselves together and say, oh, let us do this very country. Even there are some, even government of, officials, even president in some countries in Africa, all these things are happening. Like in my country, Nigeria, how can a, 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 a senator be receiving more than uh, hundred thousand dollars in a, in in a, or let me say a, a more than twenty thousand dollars in a, in a, a, a month. The money they supposed to use to repair the country, or to make everything to be okay for the for the citizens, they are taking it. They are not going to eat it forever. One day they will cough it up out. If they did not die with it, praise God. So our God is not taking pleasure in all those things. He doesn't take part. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, praise them for the wickedness that they are doing. He said, but as for me, by thy abundant lovely kindness, I will enter thy house. Is the one that is preparing us, giving us time to repent, giving you, giving me time to repent. Praise God. It, by his lovely kindness, by his favor, by his grace. That's why we are able to see today. He said, Thy holy temple, I will bow in reference for thee not only by going to the house of God, also in, in our home, we have to create time to serve our God. We have to create time to appreciate him. We have to create time to do what he has asked us to do. There is nothing more than worshiping him. God is not saying you shouldn't do as you are also doing your secular job. He's also asking you to also do his own. Praise God. Call to worship. He has called us to worship him. Hallelujah. Um, verse 8. He said, O Lord, lead me in thy righteous, in thy righteousness because of my force because of the enemy, always put me in the right position, always put me in the right way. Because when you sin against God, God cannot fight for you. The enemy will find it very easy to capture you because they want you to fail. They want you to fall. They don't want you to amount to nothing. That is what they are saying concerning you. But from today, that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord, lead me in thy righteousness because of my force. Make thy way straight before me. Hallelujah. God has already made his way straight for us. He has already, already given us the guidance. He has already given us the, 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 the commandment. He has already loved us. It's not left for us to read it and follow it. When we are driving or you are going to a place, when you see the sign, you follow it straight. When we see a traffic light, you stand by it. If it's red, you stand. If it's green, you move on. But people are not following God like that. Praise God. He said, make thy way straight before me. He has already made his way straight before us. He has told us what he wants us to do, he, how he wants us to serve him. God has already put in everything in place for us to see. Just look at it like a sandboard. If, if, you, are not, if you are not driving, you go out to, to your place of work or you, in, even in your house, when anything that you put, put on, the way we address or the way we order our children to behave. If they do it in a wrong way, how are we going to react to them? 
but our God is so peaceful for us. He's so, uh, he's so he, he loves us to the extent that he doesn't want to hurt us. Praise God. So when we do things wrong, he's still going to be the one to correct us. Because sometimes we want it in our own way. We want to behave and say, oh, like as the children are also telling us, I'm grown up enough. Sometimes we also tell our God like that. Praise God. So we shouldn't react too much when our children also tell us, oh, I can't do it myself. I know what I'm doing. Sometimes we tell God like that. He said, make thy way straight before me. There is nothing reliable in what they say. Guys, we are reading the, uh, Psalm 5. We are now in verse, verse 9. Say there is nothing reliable in what they say. They are in what path is destruction itself. Their throat is an open grave. Hallelujah. They flatter with their tongue. They lie. See the whole world right now. Your son can lie to you. Your wife can lie to you. Your husband can lie to you. The government can lie to you to gain what they want. People can lie to each other. Praise God. You see, they, are, they, they flatter their tongue with, I mean, sorry, they flatter with their tongue. He said their throat is an open grave. You know that people can also use their tongue to kill somebody. You just carry a phone and start lying against somebody. People can stay on phone for even three hours just to discuss one man or one woman. Praise God just to discuss that person. They are killing that person inwardly. That person may not know. You may not know. I may not know what the way they are using their tongue to, to judge us or to condemn us. Verse 10, it says, hold them guilty, O God, by their word. Sorry, by their own devices, let them fall whatever they plan, every arrow, whatever gadget they are using, any remote control they want to use, let them fall with it. They are using, as we are using, also pray now. Maybe they are still in their coven. In some places, they are still in their coven right now. Say, whatever they are planning, let them fall with it. Somebody that is, people that, that have, the, the spirit of witchcraft or which is a witch, uh, witchcraft. They are flying in the night using plantain leaves to fly, using uh, peanut shells to fly. Praise God. He said in their devices, let them fall. Whatever means they are using, whether they are gossiping you, let them be exposed and be disgraced. Hallelujah. Verse, uh, I take that verse 10 again. He said, Hold them guilty, O God, by their own devices, let them fall. In their multitude of their transgressions, trust them out, for they are rebellion against thee. Any child that refused to hear the word of his parents, what will he do? Or what happened to that very child? It's a rebellion. A nation, rebels can, rebels can come out from a nation. Look at what we are hearing about. Where there is places that, if there, are, there is a place of war. Look at Ethiopia now. Rebels have come out from there fighting against their own government. So also, the enemy also 
people are so fighting against God. There are some, they are saying, oh, I will not allow this Christian to grow. I will not allow them to practice what they want to practice. Praise God. Our God is not happy with what they are doing. Those rebellious children, God is not happy with them. Verse 11, he said, but let all who take refuge in thee be glad. Everyone, as you are wake up this morning, as you are hearing the word of God this morning, happiness will not depart from your home. Your heart will be joyful throughout the days of your life, not only throughout today, throughout the day of your life. Joy will not depart from your life. In Jesus' name, amen. He said, let them ever sing for joy, and mere doubt shelter them, that those who love, who love their name may exalt in thee. Hallelujah. Continually. You are happy, that is why you want to see the face of God this morning. There are many people, they, don't, they, they cannot do it because who, they will say, who is God? If God is there, why am I passing through this pain? Is going, is going, if, 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 if God is somewhere, why is this sickness? Why did this sickness happen to me? If God is really there, what is, see what is happening in the whole world. Praise God. So our God is a God that holds us tight with his mighty hand. In him, we take our refuge. Hallelujah. We will continue to sing for joy in Jesus' name. The last verse, verse 12, it says, For it is thou who, who does bless the righteous man, O God. Exactly. When God gives you anything, that thing will not be destroyed unless you destroy it yourself. God will not, will not demand it back from you. Just look at the, 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 the case of Abraham. He, he, he prayed, sorry, God gave him Isaac. God said, oh, give me Isaac. Then he make, a, he, I mean, he, he prepared himself to give it back. But God now said, oh, this man is really a righteous man. He has a very strong faith. Because of that, God gave him, God, God tell him, no, don't do this to your son. He provide a sheep, he provide a lamb for that very sacrifice. Praise God. So when God gives to us, he act, I mean, he makes that thing to be permanent. But if devil gives to them, you will see that those that went to the coven to go and take uh, power at the later part, some of them are running on the street today. Later they will say, oh, it's meta head or it's dementia. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, for it is thou who does bless the righteous, O Lord. Thou dost surround him with favor as with a shade. Hallelujah. God will favor us all today in the name of Jesus. Let us continually appreciate God because it's him that gives us life. Nobody can take your life away. Because the Bible said they can't, they say we should be afraid of somebody that, I mean, we shouldn't be afraid that for somebody that can take life but cannot take your soul. Your soul is your life. It's only God that can take, that can seize the breath, take your breath and take your, your soul. Praise God. So, don't be afraid of what the enemy are doing to you. Only continually 
trusting God, continually believing in him, continually following him, because in him we live and in him we have our being. God will bless us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are going to start praying this morning and say, Lord, have your way today in my life. Thank him for what he has done. Remember the way he fought for you. The way, the remember what the enemy planned. God delivered you from them. Remember how he rescued you from that sickness. Do you think there are some people that have flu? Just flu for one day, they are gone, but we are still alive. Let us now open our, our mouth and start thanking him. Father, we bless you today, O oh Lord. We worship you, Father. We give you thanks, we give you adorations. We thank you for everything that you have done, Lord. We don't bless your holy name this morning. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we appreciate your work, O oh Lord. My Lord, my God, we thank you today, Lord. We bless you, Father, for you are the God that know it all. You know our end from the beginning. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus, because you have been the one that has been protecting each and every one of us. Father, we just thank you today. We bless you, Father. We cannot thank you enough, oh Lord. Jesus, we thank you. We bless you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Lord. In this very month of November 2021, let us continue to thank God all through. Even if you wake up, if you did not even ask for anything, just thank him throughout the day. And God will supply all our need according to his riches in glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us now also pray and say, Lord, open, our, open your ears to hear us, O oh Lord. Our God is not a, it's not a, deaf, a, deaf, a deaf God. It's not a God that doesn't hear. If you can hear your children, why will he not be able to hear us? Continue to pray right now. Say, Lord, hear my cry this morning. Hear our cry, O oh Lord. Surrender that thing. You have a pain in your heart. You have something that you have been seeking God for. You have something that is happening to you. You cannot tell it to somebody else. Speak it to your God this hour. I say, Lord, this morning, hear my cry, O oh Lord, and answer me speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, hear our cry today, O oh Lord, and answer us speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, hear our cry today, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, hear my groaning in the mighty name of Jesus, because you are the God. You are my father. God is your father, my brother, my sisters. Call upon him and he will answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, hear my cry this morning, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, hear our cry, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hear the cry of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. That man that is sick, that woman that is sick. Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, hear their cry today, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, hear our cry, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control, O Lord. Hear our cry today, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to use that verse, verse 8 to pray. If you have not if you have not been following the, the right way, you say, make thy way straight before me. Let us now pray that prayer this morning. I say, Lord, Father, make thy way pray. I mean, sorry, make thy way straight. Before me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, this morning, O oh Lord, from today, may that way straight before me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me always be in that path, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, may that way straight before me, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, may that way straight, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, may that way straight before me, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. <clears throat> there, there, there is power in that name of Jesus. When you mention God, the enemy doesn't, doesn't disturb you too much. But when you measure the blood of Jesus Christ, when you measure the name of Jesus Christ, you will see how the enemy will react. And many people are calling that name. They don't know the power. We are going to pray right now. Say, Lord Jesus, Father, protect us all through throughout this month of November. From today, O oh Lord, throughout this year, 
2021, Father, protect us all through. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, let your, that name, O oh Lord, continue to protect us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord God, let your name, O oh Lord, continue to protect us all through. In the mighty name of Jesus, many present and many potent God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let your name, O oh Lord, continue to protect us all through. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your power and authority, Father, guide us all through what this year, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, guide us all through. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You see, they are in what part? That is verse 9 now, this B part of it. You see, they are in what part? Is destruction itself. Their truth is open. It's an open grave. Let us now pray. Those that are gossiping you, those that are judging you wrongly, let us now pray and say, Lord, let their tongue be stick to their mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, Father, Holy Spirit, all those that are judging me, that have opened my, their mouth to, to destroy me, Father, let that tongue, oh, Lord, let their tongue be stick to their mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, Father, Lord Jesus, let their tongue, oh, Lord, be stick to their mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that have, those that have opened their mouth to destroy me and my children, even my career, Father Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, let that tongue that they want to use to, to destroy me, oh Lord, let it stick to their mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them become deaf in the mighty name of Jesus. That is exactly what I'm saying in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, let those enemies that have gang up to gossip us, oh Lord, to destroy us with their mouth, Father Lord Jesus, let them become deaf, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In their own, in, in, in their own devices, let them fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, let them fall, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, hold them guilty of, of what they have done in the mighty name of Jesus. My brother, my sister, if you pray this prayer and also you are doing wickedly, the wicked things to, to your neighbors or to your friends or to anybody, the, the, you will know that the prayer will also come back to that very person. But from today, ask for that forgiveness that God should have mercy upon you of any wicked, uh, any wickedness or anything that you have done wrong. Ask God to have mercy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we pray that prayer, let us ask for the mercies of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, in any way I have brought anybody down, Father Jesus, with my mouth, have mercy upon me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy today, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, O Lord, upon that upon our children. Have mercy, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon that woman. Have mercy upon that man, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray right now. Say, uh, hold them guilty, O God, by for by their own devices, let them fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, hold them guilty in every circumstances, in every area, those that are condemning us with their mouth. Father, hold them guilty today, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, hold them guilty in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, hold them guilty of the offenses, O Lord, Father, that, of, that, that those wrong things that they are doing against us. Father, hold them guilty. We don't know them, O oh Lord. Father, you know them all. My Lord, my God, hold them guilty today in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. He said, by their own devices, let them fall. Let us now pray and say, Lord, whatever instrument, whatever gadget, whatever any means that the enemy are using to attack us, they are setting you with evil mirror. They are using remote control. If you use uh, remote control, control to, to, to do anything like your car or your TV at all. You will also know that these things also happening in the, in, in the spirit. Father, uh, we are, that is why we are going to pray this prayer and say, Lord, whatever gadget they are using against us, let those gadgets continue to work against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, in their devices, O oh Lord, Father, let them fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Any remote control, any evil water, any any satellite, evil mirror, evil television that they are using 
against us, O oh Lord, against us, against our children. Father, let those gadgets continue to work against them right now. Evil satellite, evil telephone. Father, let them continue to work against his owner in the mighty name of Jesus. In their coven, O oh Lord, where that their aging room, they call it their aging room. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, let that thing catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let those their devices continue to work against them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, let those let those gadgets that they are using against us, let it continue to work against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it continue to work against them in the mighty name of Jesus. O many present, how many potent God, let it continue to work against them. Just remember this, my brother, my sisters. When, when Balaam was trying to, to go to Balak to cause the children of Israel, what's ha what happened? His, his donkey continued to work against him, but he did not know because he was not in spirit. Continue to pray, right, pray that prayer again, that the enemy, their gadgets should work against them. Even the, what, the, whatever they are eating, let it continue to work against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, let their own gadget, let their own instrument continue to work against them. Their vehicle, that evil vehicle, let it continue to work against them in the mighty name of Jesus. What so any means, O oh Lord, that they are using to, to oppress us. Father Lord, let that means work against them from today, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray right now with that verse 11. Uh, it says, let them ever sing for joy. It's talking about those that uh, I take it from the beginning. It said, but let all who take refuge in, G in, in D be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. We are going to pray throughout this month, throughout this year, throughout this day, that Lord, let joy be my portion in the name of Jesus. Remove sadness out from my life this year in the name of Jesus. I will not mourn, you will not mourn in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, remove sadness out from us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, let joy be our portion all through, oh Lord, this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Our children, let joy be their portion, oh Lord. Remove sadness out from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Continue to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus. Once again, I soak every soul under the sound of my voice, Lord. I soak everyone in your blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Glorify your holy name, Lord. Jesus, we thank you. Father, we bless your holy name, Lord. As I soak them in your blood, let your mighty hand continue to be upon them in the name of Jesus. Those children that couldn't, that cannot talk, oh Lord, Father, you are the, the God that is pro protecting them. Father, let your mighty hand be upon them, oh Lord. I pray for those that are pregnant. Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your mighty power be upon that child, oh Lord. Even for those that are looking for the fruit of the womb, Father, Holy Spirit, children comes from you, O oh Lord. It's not from the sea. It's not from the, it's not from the air, but only from God Almighty. Father, make a way where there seems to be no way for those families and re remove their reproach out from them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless us all. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.